guys, I've got a different kind of video today. I thought I would do a food video. Yeah. <laughs> Purely because I've changed my diet recently. I've cut out dairy, meat, eggs, yada, yada, yada. So I thought that I would make this video of a few of my favorite like snacky type things. There's a couple of breakfast ideas, a couple of smoothies, and then the rest are kind of just snack ideas. But if you would like me to do a what I eat in a day video, let me know in the comments or thumbs up the video or whatever, and I will definitely do one of them. I wanna try and do more food videos on this channel because I'm not the best cook. And I feel like if I started doing videos, it'd help me kind of improve my cooking skills. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, if you'd like to see the snacks in this video, carry on watching. So I'm gonna start out with apple sauce. This is actually a super simple recipe. All you're gonna need is ginger, two cooking apples, cinnamon, one orange, and some maple syrup. And to make this, all you wanna do is chop your cooking apples really thin, pop them into a pan and literally just squirt the juice of the orange onto it. You don't wanna add any water or anything, just kind of let it simmer in the orange juice. And then you want to add as much cinnamon and ginger as you like. I wouldn't go completely overboard, but it is nice obviously to have some sort of flavor. And this recipe works so well in porridge. This is what I use in my porridge basically every single day now. I just pop a blob in the middle and then I sprinkle some little bits of pink lady apple around the outside just to add a bit of sweetness because this cooking apple recipe is a bit tart because obviously cooking apples are quite tart. So yeah, this just adds a nice bit of sweetness and it's a super easy way to mix up your porridge. I definitely would recommend trying this recipe. On to something that could be used as a breakfast or just as a snack. These are some pancake skewers and I'm going to write on screen right now everything that you will need for this recipe but first you just want to take some oats and blend them in a Nutribullet or just a food processor and it makes this kind of oat flour which is so good for this recipe. Honestly these pancakes taste absolutely incredible. So you just want to add your almond milk and then half a banana and mix it up and that is all you need for the batter. I then squirt some coconut oil in a pan and just make mini pancakes and obviously you could make these normal size pancakes and just eat them as a pancake recipe but this is for mini pancakes on skewers so all you want to do is make little pancakes, cook them for I'd say about four to five minutes. Once they're cooked, just pop them on a plate and then grab your skewers. I've got these cute little flamingo ones from Tiger and I just popped strawberries, pineapple, banana and then a frozen grape on the end of these and they tasted freaking delicious. Seriously, this is amazing for a party or if your friends come round and you want to make something fun and it's an amazing breakfast recipe as I've said or just a snack recipe in general and you can totally deconstruct this and just have the pancakes like off the skewers and stuff but it is amazing. Moving on to two of my favorite smoothie recipes. We're gonna start off with the green smoothie. You're just gonna need one cup of pineapple, one apple, some spinach, and half a lemon. Add all of that to the blender with a little bit of water as well and then just mix it together and it makes the most delicious smoothie ever. Honestly, if you're not like a berry kind of person, definitely try this and you get in your greens as well, but you totally cannot taste the spinach at all. I love watching things blend in a blender. Am I the only one? Like, I find it so weirdly therapeutic to watch. I popped this smoothie in these cute little milk kind of carton things from Tiger. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Tiger. I just freaking love their kitchen stuff and I wanted to use it all because it's so cute. But all I did was pour the smoothie in there and then just drank it up. It was delicious.
On to the next smoothie, which is my favourite one. I always drink this one in vlogs. You just need a frozen banana, a handful of blueberries and a handful of strawberries. I like to take a mixture of frozen blueberries and fresh blueberries just so it adds a little bit more like of an icy texture along with the banana. And then I just add all of it to a Nutribullet, add a little bit of almond milk and blend that all together and Bob is your uncle. Or maybe he's not, maybe he's called Terry. These cups are so handy, they're like plastic takeout cups from Tiger and I think they're really good because you can literally make this in the morning and if you've got to go somewhere you can take it with you and then you can just bin the plastic cup that it comes in which is such a good idea because normally I have to carry a flask around with me all day but yeah these are my two favourite smoothies, the green one had separated after like 20 minutes of being sat on the side but they are so nice. Moving on to homemade hummus, you're going to need one can of chickpeas, 40 millilitres of tahini and one clove of garlic. But what you want to do first is boil your chickpeas. I didn't do this and it was a mistake. <laughs> so yeah, boil your chickpeas, then put them in a blender, add the tahini, add half of a lemon or as much lemon as you personally like, add the garlic and then mix it together. And you're going to want to add some water as well somewhere along the line just to make it a bit thinner. But look how cute these little plates and stuff are. I got these from Tiger, obviously. And I just popped a big blob of hummus in there. And then I added some pita chips. All I did to make those was put some pitas in the toaster and just toast them. They're super nice and crunchy. But if you don't want to eat pitas, you could always just have carrot sticks. That's an even healthier way to eat this hummus. But it's honestly delicious. And it's so good to make your own from home. Instead of buying it, because then you know exactly what goes into it. Moving on to one of my favourite recipes, this is healthy pizza and all I did to make this was put one can of tin tomatoes in a pan and boiled it down and then I blended it in the Nutribullet with a clove of garlic, that made the most delicious sauce honestly and then I toasted some pitas, popped them on a tray and then I put that homemade sauce on, it's honestly so nice, like I can't even tell you enough how nice it is, it's gorgeous and then I just spread that on and added a whole bunch of vegetables, you can do this however way you want like you can literally add whatever vegetables you want or you can literally add no vegetables and just have a tomato base The last thing I did was sprinkle some nutritional yeast on the pizzas. Now I actually hadn't tried this in a recipe before but it literally tastes like cheese, especially when it's melted on a pizza. I wish I'd have added this to all of them because it was so tasty. All I did then was drizzle some olive oil on to make sure they go nice and crispy and then pop them in the oven for 10 minutes on 170 degrees. This is what they look like when they came out. They might not look the most appetizing but they were seriously delicious and all I did then was add some fresh spinach and ate them up. Yum. I've been really into crunchy chickpeas lately. I am normally one who loves crisps so these are a really good alternative. All you're going to need are two cans of chickpeas and you want to just rinse them really well and pour them into a dish and try and make it like one chickpea thick if that makes sense. Mine was too thick so they didn't cook properly. So try and get a tray big enough for all of them. And then you want to add like paprika, smoked paprika, garlic salt, anything that you like really. Just add it to them and shake them about and then pop them in the oven. I popped mine in the oven for 45 minutes on 230 degrees Celsius but I actually think I kept them in for 20 minutes longer and then once they were out of the oven I've got these cute little bags from Tiger. I popped them in the bags and this is a really good treat to take out with you just as a little snack on the go.
On to another snack that you can take on the go with you. These are energy balls and all you need for this is peanut butter, coconut, peanuts, oats and maple syrup. And what you want to do is add the coconut to the bowl and add the oats to the bowl as well. And you want to crush your peanuts up and add them to the bowl and then blend your peanut butter and your maple syrup together. This works better with like cheap peanut butter. I feel like the expensive kind that I use gives it a bit of a strange kind of taste but if you love peanuts seriously this recipe is for you and you just want to mix them together mix all of that mixture and then make them into little balls after you've done that you can just put them in the fridge to set and then you can take them anywhere with you just pop them in a little bag or you can just snack on them at home i actually rolled some in coconut but yeah as i said this recipe is perfect if you like peanuts it's got a very very peanutty taste The last snack is super simple, it's just a paprika popcorn. So if you've got a bag of popcorn or just some popcorn kernels, you can go ahead and pop them. And what I did is I added garlic salt and paprika. This is the tastiest treat and it literally takes like two minutes to do. So if you want something dead quick that's quite healthy, definitely give this one a go. I then found these cute little popcorn boxes from Tiger, obviously, and I popped it in there, but obviously you can just put yours in a big bowl or whatever and enjoy this while you're watching PLL. If you don't watch PLL, start watching PLL and get this popcorn. It's great. And that is the end of my snacky breakfast meal <laughs> type of video. Let me know if you liked it in the comments and which one you would like to eat the most. Also, if you try any of these, tweet me and I'll favourite your tweets and yeah. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up as I've said if you would like me to do a what I eat in a day video and subscribe if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.